the indigenous Australian redback spider from the family group of the widow spiders. It kills its prey by injecting a venom before sucking out the liquefied insides. The redback is one of the few spider species that can be seriously harmful to humans. Every year across Australia, 2,000 or more people are bitten by redbacks. More uses of anti-venom is used for the redback spider bite than any other venomous creature. In 1972, Slim Newton famously put music to the poem. There was a redback on the toilet seat when I was there last night. I didn't see him in the dark, but boy, I felt his bite. So the redback is not something that you would want to find anywhere on your property, or especially in the back corner of your shed. But you could be wrong. You see, I've had this loyal and almost indestructible Victor Two Stroke lawnmower for about 25 years. I know if I push the primer button twice, adjust the throttle just so, and give it three pulls on the cord, it will start every time. Being a 150cc two stroke, it runs flat chat no matter how hard or easy the going, and a polar bear dies every time I mow the lawns. It will power through just about anything you can throw at it all day, every day. Over the year, its rusted frame has needed patches and repairs, the height adjuster no longer works, the wheels are held together with pop rivets, and I've had to add soft grips to the handles as the incredible vibration leaves your arms with tingling sensation that reminds you for hours afterwards just how manly you've been manicuring the lawns. So, it was only natural that being an Australian, we would one day replace this testament to great local engineering with another modern, less noisy, less polluting Victor lawnmower. But no. You see, modern mowers, however good, can be quite expensive. With house prices going stratospheric in Melbourne and Sydney and the cost of living, it is getting harder to find that $600 that a really good modern day mower can set you back. Of course, $600 is not so bad if you realise it will probably outlast you before you eventually pay Mr Mower Man some cash in hand to come and keep your grass and weeds tidy and in check while you sit knitting in front of the heater on a 25 degree day. Of course you can shop around, you don't have to go into a store, you can buy online these days. This particular mower here at Bing Lee was $299 with a two year manufacturer's warranty. If you select Bing Lee's two year easy care plan for an extra $59 which brings it up to $358 you get a four year warranty. So that's not too bad. But when my now new favourite hardware store Masters offered the same mower for $170 plus nine dollars for oil. It was a bargain too good to pass up. So on the day of the sale, at the only store of the sale, we lined up with half a dozen other junk mail enthusiasts and collected our new power grass manicure tool. And for an extra thirty dollars, Masters doubled the manufacturer's two year warranty. So for two hundred and nine dollars, we got a four year warranty, a four stroke, four horsepower mower too good to pass up. So what do we get for this bargain price? Well this is a Sam Lee Redback Catcher Mower. It is wholly manufactured and designed in China. It has a 135cc four stroke engine, a powder coat finish, steel chassis, an advanced overhead valve 400 four stroke engine, under chassis skirt for better quality cut, a comfort grip handle with reinforced lower loop, has a large capacity 50 litre grass catcher, extra large ball bearing wheels, a 52 centimetre or 16 and a half inch cutting width, it's got a 10 position height adjustment, it's lightweight and compact, and it has the tomahawk cutting system, which is just another name for saying it's got one big blade shaped like a tomahawk, I guess. Worth noting here that it only runs on premium petrol, 95 or 98. So you can't put 91 and you especially can't put E10 petrol into it as an old base petrol. As far as noise, it's a 75 dBA's, which I actually find a bit disappointing. Uh, why? Because 75 dBA's is the same noise level of the old Victor 2 stroke. I would have hoped that uh, 25 years of engineering improvements would have uh, reduced that to about half to produce an exhaust system that would uh, reduce the mower noise to about half. I think it's a bit too loud for my liking. Now, Stanley's not a brand I've heard of, to be honest, so uh, I'm always curious in uh, service and support. Um, 
they've got a very nicely laid out website specifically for Australia and when you drill down on their service and support they have obviously quite a number of uh, authorised dealers uh, throughout Melbourne and throughout Australia so uh, you won't be able to get parts for it I would suspect at your major retailers, your Bunnings and your hardware stores you will have to go to Moa shops uh, but that's not a bad thing those guys uh, know what they're doing and uh, know their products and when you open your Samley Red back and get it out of the box you'll find this little extra metal piece that doesn't appear in the manual um, it took me a while to figure it out what it was but it actually goes on to the handles and holds the starter cord half up the handle so you don't have to bend over like a yoga instructor to start your mower um, it sort of makes me think it may have been an afterthought uh, it wasn't uh, in the original design I suspect so certainly some photos it doesn't have it speaking of the manual which is quite well laid out and has information that you do need to know to uh, maintain your mower uh, it does have a problem in that it's been reduced in size to the point uh, that it's impossible to read. Um, I can read with my normal glasses a newspaper and a mobile phone. Even with my reading glasses I struggle to read this manual. Um, you'll see here I've scanned it against a copy, a page of the local newspaper and the font size is just way too small. So I recommend you go online, uh, print out the online manual in A4 and, uh, and read that. Uh, there is some important information there you do need to know. Okay, now is the time to try and start the mower for the first time. So we need to add our oil. Um, it comes with a litre of oil, or you get a litre of oil from the hardware store for a mowers. Uh, and we need to add 600. So pour about half of it in, and then uh, keep topping it up in small amounts until the, you reach the top of the dipstick. To check the dipstick level, don't screw the dipstick in. Just unscrew it out and then push the dipstick down and then pull it out and wipe it with a rag and check the oil level that way. Uh, I found I got about 550 mils of oil into the mower to reach the top of the dipstick and that's even after a run it was still the same. So, And importantly remember that after five hours of use you need to drain the oil out and fill it up again with oil. That should then last you about a year. Um, so five hours after initial running, uh, change the oil and then you're right to go for, for the next 12 months. Okay, now it's time to add our fuel. So we uh, add our fresh premium 95 or 98 fuel to the tank. It's a one litre tank and you fill it up, but it must be less than 13 mil from the top of the, uh, the filler there. Uh, so it's got room for expansion. And now for the most fun bit of, uh, of all when you buy something new. It's starting it for the first time. So first you switch on the fuel tap wind around, hold the mower steady and see how many starts it takes to get the motor going. So that's about it for the Sanley Redback Mower. Uh, all in all I'm pretty pleased with my purchase. Even at the normal purchase price this mower seems to be fairly good value I would say. Uh, it's the middle of winter so the grass isn't growing so it's hard to give it a, a demonstration with some decent length grass and uh, that won't happen till around about spring. Uh, I've since taken the blade off the mower and given it a sharpen. The blade's fairly dull when it comes out of the box and I think that's more of a safety thing. And the manual does say that the blade should be sharpened and balanced once a year anyway. So I'm looking forward to 20 years of service out of this mower hopefully, uh, just like the last one. Uh, time will tell. And uh, by the end of that 20 years I'll probably get Mr Mower Man to come around and mow my lawns in my old age. Okay, see you next time. Bye.